Hello everybody, in this video we're going to use uh, AppSynth, uh, as you can see, bring your opinions to animated life. Uh, basically what we're going to do is, uh, and you can use it both for images and videos, because we're going to apply a stylized image to a video, and which means that if you want to apply certain style to an image or a video, a sequence of images, you can use this software to do so. Some of you ask me uh, if there's an option to apply your style into a specific image so with this one you can do this both for images single image and for a sequence of images a video let's take a look so first of all i download from pixabay this video uh with uh green screens you can see of a dinosaur i wanted this to be again uh, apply my style and i also wanted the background as well and if we're going to make something like all painting apply effect style apply to those two videos but keep in mind you can also apply to a single v single image if that's what you want so basically once you run the software you download it from the website uh when you launch it you have this window now basically there are different things here uh this one you don't need to interact with it's going to fill in automatically we have two folders uh in our targeted, fo targeted folder the first one will be renamed key the other one will be video uh in the key we're going to put uh an image uh that shows the stylized image that you want the style to apply to the entire video or again sequence of images and in the video we're going to put the sequence of images of our video all right so uh the way to do it uh, i'm going to show you the way by the way here is applies if you want the results to be have more weight towards the style you're going to increase this volume maybe one two and if you want to appear more like the video uh, you're going to play with the weight here all right so you're going to reduce this number oh, sorry increase this number uh we also can use mask uh, if you turn it on uh so you can create uh, masks for but you need to provide the png of the mask so it can apply for the video uh i, I personally using transparent png but again if you want specific mask you can use it as well by turning it on uh, if you see that there are some artifacts around the mask you can increase this number all right uh, some noise or other type of things uh all right and uh after that uh, when you do that you click synth and it will start generating the images all right that's in general now, let me show you how we can do that so uh when you get keyframes all right we're going to click keyframes now i already have this i'm just going to show you how it is done so i already have the keyframes if i go key here you can see that i put the uh image with the sequence number i'm going to show you how to do this in a moment of the image that i styled i'm going to show you how i styled it also in a moment and if you go here to the video we're going to see that uh, all the images the sequence images of the video is uh, output here all right in a sequence as you can see it's with numerical values all right so basically when the app asks me i'm just going to choose if i go, go here I'm going to choose uh, keyframes. I'm just going to choose the key, click. This is the stylized image. And then the video, I'm just going to select the folder. So I'm just going to choose the first image. It's going to select the folder. All right. And then I just click Synth. All right. So how do you do this? I will generate the sequence. Well, it depends on the video editing software you're using. So I'm going to using the video resolve, but it will be, of course, different. Uh, if you use another one all right so first of all bringing the video of the dinosaur you can see it's a green screen uh of course you can use something that is not but i'm going to use a green screen and i'm going to get rid of it in a moment so as you can see this is a video from pixabay for dinosaur all right uh keep in mind uh i'm using uh 24 frames here of course you can choose something else like 60 it's up to you but just keep in mind it will generate more frames of course and uh, you can just cut it out and just use the part of the video that you want to generate, uh, synthesize, all right? So the important thing here, first of all, how do you get rid of the green screen? Just quickly show you. Uh, we're going to go to Fusion. We're going to select the first one. So right here, select it. Shift space and we choose Delta. Delta key here. Add. And then we're going to grab this one, the color picker on top of this one. And here we go. We got rid of it. So now it's transparent. All right, that's the first thing. The other thing is, it's also in Fusion. If you go to Fusion, uh, what we need to do now is 
go and choose shift space save save sv add all right now uh, once this is chosen we need to go and choose the file name make sure you rename it anything you like for example just uh, a but make sure it's png all right png now I tested that by the way with just number one and again make sure to add png.png and it will generate a sequence of numbers so this works otherwise you need to use a bulk uh, renaming software in order to rename and make a sequence of numbers all right now after you do that you're going to go to fusion here and choose render all savers and what it does is basically it will generate a frame a png image for each one of the frames in your video all right so this is actually what we need uh, to use later on all right next one well now we need uh to take uh the frame i took by the way the first frame i actually uh number mine from uh, 10,001 you know and on and uh basically this is the first frame of the dinosaur you see with transparent this is the png image see png with transparency and what i'm gonna do i'm gonna start it the way i want and uh for example if i want to uh so what i created basically i just uh, went to filters you can do whatever you like with every software you like i just did it in photoshop quickly to show you and all paint so i choose this one and then i just created something with some uh saturating it different colors and i apply a mask with some gradient you know play with it a bit until i get something that uh look like this image all right and this is the one to use as a key for the art to apply to all the other frames uh the png images all right now if you look here you can see that in our folder we're gonna have several uh folder the first one that the more this is by the way the video that i created ignore it but we have video and key in video there's going to be all the png images generated out of uh, in this case uh, davinci resolve all of them are png images you see for each frame and we have the key and this is where you put the stylized one all right so the stylized one will be inside a key folder again just make sure to name it uh, like that so you know you can remember what each one is and uh, out is the one that generates uh, after you click synth it will generate all the other for each one of the frame will apply the style of the key image all right so then you can take it and bring it into davinci resolve uh, and just output it as a video export it as a video now back to ebsynth in the keyframes we're going to choose the stylized image that we did in photoshop uh, and in the video we're going to choose the frame it can be the first frame or other frame depends what you want to render so i choose the first frame uh, and that's about it i can of course uh, add mask or if i want to add different sequences i can use the plus button to for example do it from certain keyframe to another keyframe i can even tell it uh, to stop at a certain keyframe but if you just want from one key frame to the end, what you generated in a video editing software, you just click sync and it will generate the images, uh, apply the style to the frames generated using the Vichy Resolve, the PNG images, and the result will be a uh, sequence of images. But still the video. To do this, you need to bring it into the Vichy Resolve. So again, it can be the Vichy Resolve or any other video editing software. And what we're going to do, I'm going to select all the images and just drag them all right and then in the venture resolve you're going to see the sequence here all right and you can see that all the sequence is just here all right and then you can just click play and it generates again not perfect result but you can see how it works and of course you can export it I did, of course, with two layers, one with the background and one with the dinosaur. So I combined the two and that's uh, how I got these results.